to Bayshore Boulevard. And you can... Yeah, I'm sure you've seen them as the motorcycles pass by with their PDAs mounted on their bike. Well, Brian's here to show you how to mount your own ram mount so you too can ride down with your music or gps system mounted to your very own bike hi my name is brian and this morning i'm with elliot and we will be installing a ram mount sent from gps city on my moto uh, guzzi norte and mounting system for and i want to thank PDAs richard for sending me this great uh, smartphones today uh, i called richard at gps city and he gave me this great t-shirt Oops, that's not the one. So I got this package from GPS City today, and I'm really excited. Look at that. I got my RAM mount. I'm going to be installing this mount on my motorcycle so I can take my dog wherever I go. What's in the box? Part A is the one-inch diameter ball. Part B is the rubber expansion plug. Part C is the set of washers in the bag. And inside the bag, you'll also find a brass lock nut and also a long machine screw. That's part E. And part F is the set of plastic washers with the insert for the nut. Okay, this ram, uh, this ram cradle is actually has the part number here RPR182PD3B. Works great to hold a PDA or a uh, smartphone. Um, this particular phone is a Sprint Samsung uh, Galaxy S. So the tools that I needed to complete this task are uh, a 4 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the headstock cover, uh, a marking tool to mark the hole that I am going to drill in the cover with this 1 inch hole saw on a cordless drill. The, uh, this is a radiator hose cutting tool. You can use this a pair of very sharp scissors or a set of cutting pliers uh, as long as you get a nice even cut on the extension plug and this three millimeter uh, allen t handle which i am going to use to tighten the the long machine screw that's going to expand the expansion plug and we're going to use this ruler and a scribe and if you really want to get high tech you can always go with an oscilloscope too, just to make it look good. So following instructions, remember that's part of our contents. Um, step one is to insert the expansion plug into the stem hole. This is already unscrewed and pre-drilled. I'm going to remove that into the stem hole, the steering stem hole, as far as it goes. And then I'm going to mark it with a pen or a scribe. Uh, since I am doing a 12,000 mile service on the bike, at the same time, it does make it easier. So here I'm going to cut this, like that. So this is reference mark B as described in the instructions where... So this is the expansion plug that I had cut as the instructions say to cut at part B at top mark where we scribed as we installed it. And then the last cut we're going to make on this piece is about an inch from the top of this part. So what we do is measure this. So we measure about an inch on the ruler at the expansion plug and mark it and we take our cutting tool the radiator hose tool that I used and we make another cut and 
and that's what we're left with. And this is the part that we're going to use to put in the headstock nut. Okay, right. now with step two, we're going to assemble the RAM B342U as shown on the instructions. First, I put the, the machine screw in through the one inch ball mount, turn it upside down, and they ask you to use the largest of the set of steel washers, and then the rubber sleeve will go in, and then the uh, nut pocket with the gripper on there and then the brass nut will go into that insert and then we start it on a few threads to get it a little bit tight and then before we install it in here into the headstock we're going to tighten this so it's a bit of a squeeze to go into the headstock nut now we're installing this onto the uh, headstock until it's tight enough so it's not going to pull out. Okay. Because the instructions, uh, this kit is uh, for a uh, it's for Moto Guzzi, but it's also for, it's more for the Breva, which does not have this ornamental cover over the headstock. So, as you can see, the hull is pre-drilled, and... You're going custom. I'm going custom. So what we're going to, Go ahead. and I'm going to install it flush with the headstock nut. Okay. okay. So after taking the headstock nut off, I right removed... Here. I removed the the bigger wa the largest of the steel washers and found the washer that best fits through the hole in the center of the headstock nut like that. So we're going to reinstall the headstock nut. And we're going to torque it to specifications. We're going to assemble it with a smaller washer, the expansion plug, the nut holder, and we're going to screw this on a few threads to get the nut started, and then we'll insert it as such into the headstock nut. It's a nice the headstock nut. And you got some rubber expansion going on in there to hold the ram mount in place. We can put the headstock cover back on. making sure we don't uh, crimp any wires between the headstock cover and the upper triple clamp and that okay is... now we take the pre-assembled ram mount cradle put it on there and tighten the hour sexy hourglass shaped extension and we can adjust that to make it Fit for best visual. I connected a power uh, supply. This is available from Powerlet um, to power the phone up because Android phones actually suck up. Yes, batteries. it's the Winston mount. That's so, perfect. <laughs> so now you can take your dog on your motorcycle. This is the shirt that Richard got me. Thank you, Richard.